a function fx is said to be continuous at a number that is x is equal to a if limit extends to a fx is equal to f of a. So, this right side should be defined and this left side while calculating look at that the previous problems so many problems I have done this should be exist. So, left to that that means we have to, we should find limit this should be exist that right side is should be defined that is in the given function at x is equal to a whether it is defined or not you see it ok. If limit extends to a f x not equal to f a or limit extends to a minus f x not equal to limit extends to a plus f x both exist but unequal or limit extends to a minus f x and limit extends to a plus f x does not exist both then f of x is discontinuous at x is equal to a see whenever this limit value not equal to function value or left and right limit exist but unequal or both left and right limits does not exist. In this case the function is called discontinuous at x is equal to at a point. So, whenever a condition happened like this in the given problem that type of discontinuity is called removable discontinuity. That means, if you redefine this function value whenever uh, once we get a limit value suppose 1 and this uh, defined value is 0 1 not equal to 0. If you redefine f of a that means, if you define f of a is equal to 1 then that discontinuity has to be removed that is whenever this condition is happened in the given problem discontinuity this is called jump discontinuity. The name of discontinuity is here. or discontinuity of first kind. Whenever this condition exists in a problem this is called discontinuity of second kind. While finding limit if you get infinity minus infinity that is called infinite discontinuity ok. Next, this is definition discontinuity as well as continuity at a single point A. So, jump discontinuity example we have already done the very first problem limit mod x by x extends to 0 that is a is equal to 0 your function f x is mod x by x there we got left limit right limit exist and unequal that is the example of discontinuity of first kind jump discontinuity.
what I gave the condition for continuity at a point limit extends to a fx is equal to f of a. Sometimes your left limit is equal to f a. In such case that continuity is called left continuity. And in some problems right limit is equal to this f a. Then that case that is the function is called right continuous at x equal to a. Whenever left continuity, right continuity, that is the left limit, right limit equal, that is left continuity is satisfied, right continuity is satisfied, then it is called original meaning of continuity at x is equal to a at a point. The second one is a function fn f of x is said to be differentiable or derivable at a point x is equal to a if f dash a is equal to limit x tends to a f x minus f a by x minus a. This is also given as limit h tends to 0 f of a plus h minus f a by h. This we have done in 11th standard uh, 6 marks problems uh, prove the derivative of sin x is equal to cos x prove the derivative of x power n is equal to n into x power n minus 1 using this procedure only derivative procedure only. Okay, That is every derivative continuity came by the basic definition limits only provided that the limit exists. Now, this f dash a is also denoted by dy by dx after that substituting a is equal to a. Similarly, two types because of left and right limits here also left hand derivative to right hand derivative I already discussed left continuity right continuity. Okay? Similarly, left hand derivative of f x at x is equal to a. This is abbreviated as denoted by LHD at x is equal to a is LF dash a. Notation is LF dash a. Procedure is limit x tends to a minus fx minus fa by x minus a. X tends to a minus means x tends to a. What is the meaning of x tends to a minus? x tends to a x less than a. Okay. And the right hand derivative that is RHD of fx at x is equal to a is RF dash a is equal to limit x tends to a plus the meaning of x tends to <coughs> a plus is x tends to a x greater than a f x minus f a by x minus a. The way of expressing depending on the other textbooks directly they are denoted by x tends to a minus or they can write like that directly. They are writing directly x tends to a x less than a. Lf dash a not equal to Rf dash a, left derivative not equal to right derivative at a, then f dash a does not exist. That is, f of x is not differentiable at x is equal to a. Lf dash a is equal to Rf dash a is equal to some number L 
if fan don't leave, F dash A is also equal to the same number, real number L. f of x is continuous slash differentiable at every point in an interval, any interval, say i, then we say that f, that is f of x, is continuous CYNT, means continuous DIFF, short form simulum, on I. So, in the interval, there are many points A, B, C, D like that. At every point, the function is satisfying either continuity or differentiability. Then only on the whole interval, we say that the function is continuous or differentiable. So, geometrically, the graph of x is continuously without gaps. That is called continuity on an interval. Similarly, differentiability means uh, once you get the graph uh, at every point on the curve, the tangent is exist. Slope of the tangent is exist. Okay. Every... Differentiable function is continuous, but the converse need not be true. What tells this point? If a function is differentiable, then it is continuous, but if a function is continuous, then it may or may not be differentiable at the same point or an interval. Next, let fx, comma gx be two continuous slash differentiable on i interval and k is a constant i mean some interval open interval closed semi open semi closed or any set infinite set finite set like that then 1 f plus or minus g f into g k into f or continuous slash differentiable on i 2 f by g is continuous slash differentiable on i here g of x not equal to 0 in the second condition for all x in i So, for every x in the given interval, the second function not equal to 0, then only their quotient f by g is continuous as well as differentiable. So, that means constant into any continuous function, constant into any differentiable function, sum of the two continuities, product of two continuous functions, similarly differentiable, are also continuous as well as differentiable. So, these are the points will helpful in mean value theorems. Please remember, by heart these one by one uh, note points. Now, I am giving some standard functions which are always continuous. That also it is helpful to evaluate some problems in mean value theorem chapter. Fx is equal to 
any constant k x power m m is equal to 1 2 3 polynomial function exponential x trigonometry sin and cos sin hx cos hx etc are continuous as well as differentiable on real numbers every real number that is minus infinity comma infinity fx is equal to log x is continuous slash differentiable on r plus that is logarithms are defined for positive numbers only 0 comma infinity and the very very important bit is many times this is asked fx is equal to mod x or mod of ax plus b any number ok a b are constants or continuous on real numbers a comma b constants but mod x that is fx is equal to mod x is differentiable very very important regarding differentiable everywhere except at x equal to 0 that means the quantity inside equal to 0 the corresponding x values the function is going to uh, the function is failed to differentiable where the points inside where the quantity where the function involved in the modulus ok to 0 fx is equal to mod x that means you find the value of x where this function is equal to 0 at that point the function is failed differentiable failed to be differentiable is differentiable everywhere except where this equal to 0 at x is equal to minus b by a very very important please remember these two regarding modulus functions con differentiability Please by heart the standard examples and mod functions regarding continuity as well as differentiability. So, one example recently asked that means in gate questions 2011 2 marks what should be the value of lambda such that small st stands for such that fn stands for function fx is equal to lambda cos x by pi by 2 minus x if x not equal to pi by 2 1 if x is equal to pi by 2 comma is continuous at x is equal to pi by 2 question mark so we have to find the lambda so that this function is continuous at x is equal to a a is equal to pi by 2 ok now what is the definition f is given 
continuous at x is equal to pi by 2. This pi by 2, our letter denoted by A. Therefore, what is the definition at a single point continuity A? Limit fx extends to A, that is pi by 2, is equal to f of A, that is f of pi by 2. Now, x tends to pi by 2 means, what I told you in the beginning day, that is last class, x not equal to pi by 2, approximately equal to pi by 2. So, that it comes under the case not equal to pi by 2, take this value as function. Lambda times cos x divided by pi by 2 minus x. f of pi by 2 means the function defined at x is equal to pi by 2. Check. This is at x equal to pi by 2. The function is defined. The defined value is 1. Now, take outside lambda, which is a multiplication to a constant. Now, if you put pi by 2, cos pi by 2, 0, pi by 2 minus pi by 2, 0, giving 0 by 0 form, apply L hospital rule. So, limit x tends to pi by 2, cos x derivative 2 minus sin x. Constant derivative 0 minus x derivative 2 minus 1. Since 0 by 0 form. So, now onwards, if I write that raise and 0 by 0 form any calculations, I hope that in the next step you, that means in that corresponding step you understood, okay, that is L hospital rule only. Now, if you put x tends to pi by 2 sin 91 after cancelling minus 1 minus 1 is equal to 1, which implies lambda is equal to 1, copy down. The second one is two thousand eight. The function f x is equal to sin x zero three x cube x less than zero comma x equal zero comma x greater than 0 is option A continuous and differentiable at x equal to 0 B neither continuous nor differentiable at x equal to 0 continuous but not differentiable at x equal to 0, differentiable but not continuous at x equal to 0. Here option 3 is, option D is false because every differentiable function is always continuous. So, we have to check one of the previous three ABC options. So, here x less than 0, x greater than 0, x is equal to 0, three functions defined. So, it comes under the case of left and right limits problems only. So, first I am finding LHL at x equal to 0, left hand limit. I cannot find directly. Uh, limit extends to 0 fx, continuity definition. So, first find left limit. Limit fx, what is the notation? x tends to 0 minus means x tends to 0, x less than 0. When x less than 0, what is our fx? Given sin x. Sin 0, 0. Next, rhl at x is equal to 0. Right hand limit x equal to 0. Denoted by limit x tends to 0 plus x tends to 0 plus means x tends to 0 x greater than 0 fx. When x greater than 0 what is fx which is given 3x cube. So, 3 into 0 cube defined 0. So, therefore, limit x tends to 0 fx is equal to 0 since left hand limit is equal to right hand limit. Limit exists and existed value is equal to the same previous value that means these values. And 
what we have to say find function value defined or not at x equal 0 f of 0 that means at x equal 0 that f 0 value is also defined that is given 0 so what can you say about therefore limit extends to a a means 0 is equal to f of a a means 0 so which implies f is continuous at x equal to 0 that means either option a or option c Okay, that means we require to check the function is differentiable at x equal 0 using left and right derivatives because less than 0, greater than 0, different values given. Next, on this way, on this side, I am finding LHD, left hand derivative at x equal to 0. What is the notation? LF dash 0. LF dash 0 procedure is limit extends to A minus. A means 0. 0 minus means extends to 0, x less than 0. fx minus f0, a is equal to 0 by x minus 0. Refer the definition of left hand derivative at x is equal to a, right hand derivative at x equal to a. Here a is nothing but 0. So, when x less than 0, what is your fx given? Sin x. f of 0 is already middle value given 0. x minus 0, x. Sin x by x extends to 0 is always 1, which I have given in standard limits. Next. R H D at x equal to 0. Notation is R F dash 0. Procedure is limit x tends to 0 plus means x tends to 0 x greater than 0. F x minus F 0 by x minus 0. When x greater than 0, what is F x? Which is given 3 x cube. F of 0, 0. x minus 0 is x. 1 x I can cancel. Limit x tends to 0. 3x square, 3 into 0 square, 0. So, therefore, LF dash 0, not equal to RF dash 0, which implies F of x is not differentiable at x equal to 0, that is F dash 0 does not exist. Look at the definitions, F dash a does not exist, what I gave alternative sentence. So, accordingly, answer is option C, put the tick. This is 2 marks given. formula Equation, EQ stand for equation, equation of the tangent line to a curve y is equal to fx at a point p x1 comma y1 is just like slope one point form y minus y1 is equal to f dash x1 into x minus x1 this f dash x1 is also written as dy by dx at p x1 comma y1 and 
equation of the normal at p x1 y1 this is one of the application uh, derivatives is y minus y1 is equal to minus 1 by dy by dx at p x1 comma y1 into x minus x1 because slope and tan uh, slope and uh, I mean tangent and normal are always perpendicular to each other slope product of their slopes is equal to minus 1. Next I am going to start mean value theorems. For the curve, find differentiation and then substitute the point that gives slope. Now, x1, y1, first position is x point, second position is y point. This is the formula to use. mean value theorems. There are three theorems. First one is Rolle's theorem R O L L E F first years. Let f of x be a function defined in closure interval a comma b such that 1 f is f means f, f of x continuous in closure interval a comma b f is differentiable in open interval a b 3 f a is equal to f b then there exist at least one c in open brackets open interval a comma b such that f dash is equal to 0 just highlight this there exists at least one c in a b f dash is equal to 0 2 second term is Lagrange's mean value theorem. Let fx be defined in closure interval a comma b such that. That means I hope that you understand that short notation here st is such that. 1. Continuous that is f is in closure interval a b 2 differentiable in open a b then there exist at least 1 c in a comma b open interval such that f dash c is equal to f b minus f a by b minus c. Underline this one and this one. Next. Cauchy's mean value theorem. Let fx 
and gx both are b defined in closed interval a comma b such that one continuous in closed interval a b two differentiable in open a b three g dash x not equal to zero for all x in open a b then there exists at least one c in open a comma b such that f dash c by g dash c is equal to f b minus f a divided by g b minus g a these are the three terms copy down i will explain See all of you. In all the com theorems, some sentences are common. Some conditions are also common. The given function should be defined in closed interval A B. That is, at every point in the closed interval, f x has some value defined. Okay, such that some conditions in every theorem, first of all, satisfies. That is stage one. What is stage one? The given function should satisfy the corresponding conditions in theorem. In this rules theorem, the function is continuous in the given interval. differentiable in the open interval that is excluding end points it is enough to show between a and b only at every point between a and b differentiable third condition fa is equal to fb that means end points the function value are equal then stage 1 over stage 2 means that is our conclusion then there exists at least one c in a comma b open interval that means between a and b there are many numbers but you have to show or you find a number denoted by c such that derivative is equal to zero at that number derivative is equal to zero what is f dash c derivative of fx at x is equal to c okay so at that number that is which number between a and b you find properly a number c such that its derivative is equal to zero that is rolle theorem tells now lagrange meyer lagrange meyer wali theorem tells that same as i explained earlier continuous differentiable then here also between a and b you find properly a number c such that derivative at c that is f dash c is equal to fb minus fa by b minus a okay next in cartesian mean value theorem you consider two functions both are defined both are continuous both are differentiable similar to previous theorems there is third condition here g dash x not equal to 0 second function derivative not equal to 0 in between a and b that is for all x for every number between a and b second function not equal to 0 because of this condition now what is the condition to prove here between a and b as explained earlier you find a number c such that first function derivative divided by second function derivative is equal to fb minus fa by gb minus ca okay so lagrange application of rolle theorem means this lagrange mean value theorem cartesian mean value theorem that results are obtained by using rolle theorem only and using lagrange mean value theorem we can prove some inequalities problems okay uh, without uh, that means uh, you know uh, without giving some x values and saying uh, okay okay this is uh, correct this is correct not like that okay some inequalities problem some function saying increasing decreasing also okay using lagrange mean value theorem okay next uh, taylor series next topic is also depends on the proof that series is obtained by rolle theorem only that is rolle theorem is plays an important role in this theorem okay every other theorem is obtained by using rolle theorem only 
now uh, kachi's theorem where kachi mean valley theorem generally is full in whenever a, fun, a curve equation uh, is defined in parametric form say f of x is equal to some t square y is equal to some 2t that is okay f of t g of t two different functions so such cases this is useful that is kachi's mean valley theorem just apply fx and gx both sides for fx and gx if you apply lagrange mean valley theorem and divide one by one result okay f dash c using this theorem f dash c and for the second function gx apply this theorem then divide one by one result first result by second result you will get kachi's theorem kachi's mean valley theorem result okay so geometrically this f dash is equal to zero means once you draw the graph of the given function fx in between a and b that is closed interval a b there is a point on the curve whose tangent slope slope of the tangent is equal to slope of x axis because zero is nothing but slope of x axis slope of the tangent to the curve at x is equal to c is equal to slope of x axis that is there is a tangent on the curve parallel to x axis curve means fx okay now lagrange mean valley theorem tells that okay there is a point on the curve at x is equal to c that is the point on the curve whose slope of the tangent that is f dash is indicate slope of the tangent to the curve at x is equal to c is equal to slope of the chord joining end points what are end points a comma b okay what is the slope of the chord chord means it is a straight line a, a line intersects a curve at exactly two points that length intercepted is called chord so it looks like slope of the line joining two points x1 y1 x2 y2 how much y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 like that only you will get geometrical meaning okay kachi's mean valley theorem i already explained when an equation of the curve is expressed in parametric form this place okay this comes the kachi's mean valley comes so all of you remember stage 1 conditions continuous differentiable in every theorem stage 2 means between a and b you have to find a c value satisfying the corresponding formula in each theorem what is the formula in rolls theorem f dash is equal to 0 in lagrange mean valley theorem f dash is equal to fb minus fa by b minus a in kachi's mean valley theorem this is okay you please remember suppose one of the basic conditions fails then no need to find c value not required to find c value in such cases your one of the options that theorem is not applicable okay see in these three theorems if one two or one of these conditions fails not satisfied what i gave then your option is that theorem is not applicable cannot be applicable one or two problems i am going to do after that i will go to tailored series Please by heart for finding C, the corresponding F dash C formula in each theorem. And remember the basic conditions 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 conditions in all the three theorems. That is stage 1 conditions. Stage 2 means finding C. Stage 1 means continuity, differentiability regarding the given function in the respect to open, closed intervals like that. One problem I'm going to do. <laughs> Find C of the Rolle's theorem for fx is equal to e power x times sin x minus cos x in closed interval pi by 4 comma 5 times pi by 4 solution so i told you standard functions e power x is always defined as well as continuous sin x cos x graphs if you look at that your 11th standard all these things the graphs are always continuous and i have given standard functions 
Be because of this chapter only, I have given some standard functions which are always continuous in some real numbers or part of the real numbers on R or zero comma infinities. Look at your previous uh, topic. Some standard examples I have given due to this chapter only. Okay. So, sin x continuous, cos x continuous, difference of two continuous functions the, uh, I gave also continuous. F g are continuous, f plus g, f minus g, f into g, f by g are all continuous as well as differentiable I gave that. Okay. So, product is also continuous. So, that entire given function is continuous. So, here f x is continuous in the given interval pi by 4, phi pi by 4. So, to say differentiable you can look at that previous uh, standard examples or we need to find in every problem f dash x and say that exist. Okay, because in the last uh, what is the second stage we have to find c that means we need to find f dash x. C Y N T continuous f dash x applying u by v uh, sorry u v rule co product rule e power x derivative e power x u dash into v minus u into v dash plus e power x into sin x derivative cos x minus cos x derivative plus sin x. So, this quantities exist. So, this simplifies to e power x into 2 times sin x. So, this quantity exist where in open interval. Of course, it is in closed interval also exists, but we have to show open interval a comma b only. Pi by 4 comma. In some problems at end point, the function fail to be derivative. That is why they are defined uh, open interval. A, between a and b, you have to find or show the derivative f dash x exists. Okay. Next, f a is equal to f b. That is f of pi by 4. Sin 45 cos 45 both are equal. So, sin 45 minus cos 45 is equal to 0 and f of 5 times pi by 4. 5 into 5 by pi by 4 means 225 degrees means third quadrant. In third quadrant sin 5 into pi by 4 minus 1 by root 2 cos 5 into 45 that is cos 225 degrees minus 1 by root 2. So, this becomes minus 1 by root 2 plus 1 by root 2 becomes 0. This is also 0. Look at your trigonometric formulas. Okay. So, f of pi by 4 is equal to f of phi by 4. So, basic condition stage 1 I proved. This is for understanding purpose only, but you have to prove in mentally that is use your mind proving all these things because one mark, two mark questions you go for directly C, do not go for directly C provided if you are confident. That means, if you are confident you can go directly for finding C. If you are not confident, use your mind. Ma mentally you calculate product of two continuous functions and uh, but this step is very important f dash x. Okay? Now, make it down. I am showing how to find C value. What is the procedure for finding C in rule theorem formula f dash is equal to 0? In f dash x put x is equal to C. 2 times e power c sin c is equal to 0. Exponential quantity never be 0. 2 not equal 0, which are in product, send into right side. 0 by any non zero number is 0, which simplifies to sin c is equal to 0. Sin of which number 0 generally? Sin c 0 means sin 0 0, sin 180 0. Okay. Next, sin 2 pi also 0, etc. Okay. But whatever the values getting for c, that means one value, two values, many values. You have to show one of the C values, one of the C values sufficient showing between A and B. One of the C values sufficient lies between A and B. So, which of these values lies between A and B? We are getting 3 into pi, 4 into pi, so many values. So, therefore, there exists C is equal to, what is the answer? Pi in open 45 degrees, comma 225 degrees, that is 5 pi by 4. 180 degrees lies between this, such that f dash is equal to 0. So, this is the required value. C is equal to 100 degrees. So, while solving you may get more values for C, but you have to show one of these values lying between A and B that is sufficient. 